Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. You're going to love this program. This is right to the point, the cutting edge about vitamin D. Uh, no one's really came out and, and talked, why are you in the sun and not assimilating that vitamin D? Why are you still low in your vitamin D? So basically, I'm going to talk about the sun's absorption of vitamin D, depending upon your particular skin type. Let's get right to it. I want to talk about uh, the melanin. Uh, melanin, what is it? It's a substance that affects how light or dark your skin color is. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin color. The amount of melanin that you have in your skin will affect the amount of vitamin D that you can produce. Uh, melanin protects against skin damage from too much UVB exposure, which is good. So darker skins with more melanin show less UVB to enter the skin and obviously preserves it. But with less UVB, Getting through the skin, here's the problem. You get less vitamin D that's produced each minute. And this is why that if you're dark skinned, you need more sun exposure to make more vitamin D than if you were fair skinned. Aha. Let's look here. If we look at the skin types, and this is really important because one of us are one of these types of skin types. I'm going to briefly go through it. If you look at the number one first skin type, this is very fair, red or blonde hair, blue eyes, freckles. Uh, most people often with these uh, particular skin uh, burns, rarely ever tans. Uh, number two, uh, this is your uh, fair skin, blue or hazel eyes, blonde or red hair. Uh, these are people that burn frequently, Tans minimally, lightly, maybe peels quite a bit. Uh, the third category is your average Caucasian uh, white unexposed skin, burns moderately, gains over uh, time. Uh, you can tan, but over time. But uh, the fourth one is your people with lighter brown skin, dark brown skin. You can read this, your Asians, Hispanics, Mediterraneans. Burns minimally, tans easily above average and each, uh, with each exposure. Uh, category five people with brown skin getting a little darker here. Uh, the Eastern Indians, the Hispanics, rarely ever burns, tans easily and substantially. And the last one, obviously, you can you will figure that one out. These are your dark Africans, African Americans, Australian, and South Indian. Uh, these people tan profusely and never burn. But here's the problem: uh, in the sixth category, fifth and sixth category, these people have a hard time gaining vitamin D because of the fact of the melanin. So important. So the more pale your skin is, uh, the more easily your skin can produce vitamin D. That is the only good thing about that. But unfortunately, you can burn if you're in the skin too long. So if you have, if you have skin types one to three, you'll produce vitamin D more quickly than if you have skin types four and uh uh, four to six, for example, if you have skin type one, it may take around 15 minutes of the sun exposure to get the vitamin D you need. While if you have skin type five or six, it might take up to six times longer. They say about two hours. And that's a long time. So because of these factors, your skin type, where you live and the time of day or the season uh, makes a tremendous difference uh, if you look here, just uh, depending upon where you are, uh, all makes a tremendous difference. But the best time to get the vitamin D, obviously, is around the afternoon time. That's when it is over you, but you need to be very careful that you don't burn. They say by the time you burn, you will really want to get uh, into the sun half that time of the exposure uh, of when you would normally burn. That's really, really important. Uh, now, some other key factors I just want to mention before we finish up here. The amount of skin you expose is extremely important. If you if you are wearing shirts and long, long pants and you're not exposing a greater part of your body, you're going to get less vitamin D. The more you expose, the more vitamin D you're going to get. Your age has a lot to do with it. As we age, we our body produces less. If you wear sunscreen, you're going to get less. Uh, depending upon the altitude, uh, where you're at, obviously, when you're higher up, you'll get more sun, more vitamin D. When it's, when it's cloudy, You'll get less UVB reaches the skin on a cloudy day and your skin makes less vitamin D depending upon where you live. If you live like in Los, uh, uh, Los Angeles and there's a lot of smog, smog or I say smog, uh, if it's really polluted, 
that will affect the amount of sun that gets through the skin. One last thing I want to mention, if you are behind glass and you're driving, you say, well, the sun is really great. Uh, guess what? You're not getting the vitamin D because that sunlight behind glass is not going to uh, absorb, your skin is not going to absorb the UVB. It actually blocks it. So the glass does block the UVB and no one really knows that, but that is really true. Uh, here, looking at a light skin person, obviously this person is going to burn easier as we talked about the uh, lower category number, uh, but she will get a lot more vitamin D a lot quicker as compared to this person. This person will not burn, but will have a harder time absorbing uh, vitamin D. Uh, I really hope that uh, this really touch home. I mean, I really enjoyed doing this video because, you know, people talk about, I'm not getting my vitamin D. Why are we so deficient? Well, these are reasons why. No one addresses it. They say, you know, just go in the sun. But wait a second. You know, your skin has so much importance of, am I really absorbing this vitamin D or am I not absorbing it? Well, you learned something. Now I ask you to share this video. If you are new to this channel, uh, I ask you to please subscribe. I promise you I will do my best in getting you cutting edge nutrition, cutting edge uh, self-help videos with uh, musculoskeletal, neck forward posture, spinal uh, conditions that you can help yourself naturally, save yourself money from going to doctors. Because There's a lot of people out there, hundreds of thousands of people, particularly my subscribers, that live along the whole entire world where they do not have the best medical care. Um, I will not say anything further than that, but I really uh, appreciate the love uh, and uh, the people who come out and look at my videos regularly. I ask you to check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc, whatever thumbs up you give me or whatever reviews you leave me there. I appreciate it. And I appreciate uh, everything else that you've done up to this far. And I really want to say thank you. Anyways, uh, make it a great day and uh, God bless everyone. And we'll be back with you real soon. Bye-bye now.